What's up, mini truckers? Ben here, that US mini trucks, Houston mini trucks. Both of the web addresses still work. My wife is trying to interrupt. <laughs> What's up, mini truckers? Ben here, that US mini trucks. We used to be US Houston mini trucks. And then we sold two trucks to Boston. And I was like, man, we gotta be US mini trucks now. So just recently we've been selling parts. I sold parts to Guam and Canada. Some dude in Guatemala hit me up. He's needing a water pump for a sandbar. So it's pretty cool. We're all uniting together with the mini trucks. Oh, I forgot my little thing. <clears throat> Through them, in them, with them, we find unity in the mini trucks. All glory is theirs for now and forever. See, only I'm doing this. Hit that like or subscribe if you like that mini truck mayor. So we're making this walk around video, this Subaru sandbar. This is the high cab. So you see right there, you get about four inches uh, extra headroom. I forget what tires this came on, but I then put it on some off-road tires or like some turf tires and these are pretty rad because they're 13 inches so you get a little bit lower sidewall you can see there they're 65 series it's a 155 so it's a wider it's a little bit you know better handling because it's gonna have a lower sidewall and then you've got the 13 inch the center caps don't fit on there but that's one of the problems okay we're gonna walk around the high cab and just look out some of the quirks and features shout out Deg Demuro and we'll let's see if we can find some problems with this thing so I can see already we're missing the visor on this side little plastic piece I was thinking this would be a good candidate to paint this black. You can try to put like some, I put WD-40 on here. They were a little bit rusty, but then we come over here. Yeah, and it looks really clean on this side. You got that visor. Somebody was mentioning the dent over here, but you can't even ever see the dent. I was like, where is the dent? What dent? But then if you come down here, Come down real low. There's a big, pretty good crushed in part right there. Right here. So, I'm gonna open this up while I'm here. And you can see no problems with the, with the rubbing or the hitting or. The bed sides. This is the battery. More tires. Let me show you these three-way fold-down bed sides. So the paint's been touched up. You can see here some surface rust. There's no holes anywhere, but you'll see some other areas. It's got some, some rust surface here, some hitting. Okay, to take the sides off you just undo that bolt and then the whole thing just slides off to the left going this way some touch-up paint there I'm not sure what this is like some little more of some of the surface rust spots there's a spot here's something a little dent there seems like this is Got some just dents everywhere. This piece is pretty well dented. If I get more to the side. It's got the window tint on the back. It's pretty cool. The work light. The headache rack. Outside looks pretty clean. Looks like the body panels are probably original. A little more. One more door ding here. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to see that one. I'm gonna latch this before I forget. That's just bird poop. Starts up there. I think that's bird 
poop too. It has been a while since we washed this one. Put a lot of dirt in it. And then all this is just crumb. Looks like either fireworks or something. We'll open up this engine panel. So this one actually came with AC and I tried to fix the AC and I located a leak in the condenser on the outside. So there's your alternator. It looks like the belt's in really good shape. You get a little bit of surface rust here. This is just a shroud for the muffler, so even if you took that off, you wouldn't miss anything. All the hoses here with the factory uh, connectors. You know, if you start seeing all these things rigged up and different pieces, these covers should still be there. You got some more rust here. Like I said, there's no holes anywhere, but these are just drain holes in the thing. Mostly it's worse right here. There's some peeling. So I've had this probably too long. Okay, we're gonna do a test drive, start up. So stay tuned. I got oh dang, I just saw this. So this has got a little hole right there. I guess that's just probably from water shooting up there or something. Or where is it? On the side, yeah, I guess on the side. I've had a couple covers, even some worse than that. Okay, let's go inside. We're gonna take a look. You get the some of them come like this. This has got like a double, triple, quadruple. It's a double floor mat system going on. So somebody took good care of it. And then you've got, this is kind of what makes the high cab. And this is like a shelf. So that's what it looks like up there. And we reupholstered the seat on this one. That's the original seat. I just noticed the side panels are carpet. Usually they're mm, uh, just made out of plastic. So that might be an upgrade. Or maybe it's like a deluxe package. Okay, there's our dash. This one it looked like must have had an aftermarket stereo because it came with this thing that was barely even attached. But it looks like the wiring harnesses are all still there, complete. And then this is your antenna feed. So if you wanted to hook up a radio. The problem, this has got one. This does have the two speaker sound system, but a lot of times they'll just have uh, the plastic. It looks like this, but it's there's no speaker behind it. Sure, how this looks even in there. I shouldn't have messed with it, huh? I had it in there just right. Uh, I gotta show you guys everything. Alright, so it goes in like that. Oh, there's the, looks like the battery cover. So there's the dash. This lifts up. That's the bottom of the seat. This is where your radiator. windshield wiper fill juice is okay I'm not gonna latch the bed down for the cover I'm gonna try to get it in a little position Did I put it on backwards oh, man. what is this amateur hour over here huh look at this I put the thing on backwards get the driveway opened up I've been trying to make this video for like a week and every day I think to do it it's too hot 
get started too late. The fucking comes up. My dog's sleep out here. It's hilarious. But we got an overcast today. I think it's just in the mid 90s instead of the, the hundreds. And we'll get this thing started. We're gonna do a test drive. Probably should. Let's show you the engine area first. So I have a. We'll do that maybe when it's running. Let me get something to open that engine compartment. So let me know. Somebody's thinking about buying this. Write down in the comments if you think this is a garbage one or you think this is a good one and help him make the right decision because I don't want to be responsible. If he gets it and he's not that happy, he says, oh man, it's the wrong color silver. You said it was going to be lightly silver and it's a little bit darker. You know how those people, some people, they're always just trying to complain about everything. All right, so I haven't started it. We're going to make sure it's in neutral. And I'm going to... I should make sure. Let me make sure this is not in the way. Oh, dude, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we're trying to put this up with the Nintendo and put it on the fire truck. So, I already got two TVs. This is my second one. All right. This is when you need that AC. So, sometimes you want to tap the throttle. I just tapped it twice. We'll see what happens here. Oh, there we go. Maybe you don't have to tap it any times, but... You know, they are carbureted and sometimes... They've been sitting a while, they'll be a little quirky. So we'll let it warm up. This is from the parking brake. We can see our blower here. That was a little of dust in my eyes. <sighs> Bad idea. So reverse is down into the left. Try not to hit my trailer. Go ahead and hit that subscribe because we're doing a trailer reveal inside the trailer reveal at 3,000 subscribers. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys are already subscribed, but some of the new guys, they don't really know. It's a tight fit. Tight, tight fit over here. I might put you on pause. There's my new trailer. Horn works. Uh, even you don't have those backup cameras like those new cars. You gotta hit that horn and let everybody give them a little toot to doots. Drive around, test out the Sully, and see if we can avoid getting in trouble here. Put my seatbelt on is what I'll do. So this thing we're trying to turn. There's some lady jogging. Looking pretty good over there. Try to say exercise, stay fit with that COVID. I don't want to catch on you. You gotta outrun it every time. All right, let me just film going this way. I always start out a second a lot in the Subarus like I did there, especially on the street tires. They're just so torquey. So we've come out a second, we're in third now. Some dude on our tails trying to be. I think I saw this dude earlier. Driving too fast. We'll just turn left here so we can go about this thing. So we're coming out a second. We're gonna just do that. It's so crowded in this area. Here's third.
one thing you lose a little bit with the 65 series versus the 80 series sidewall is a little bit more bumpy ride. So if you've got an area like this with the speed bumps, it's a little bit more cushioning the other way. Uh, we're gonna try to turn left here. And there's another mail truck. We're just coming here. We're gonna turn left down this street. I live in a pretty easy area, so all the blocks run north and south and east and west, and it makes it pretty easy. Thing. You can hear it revs up really good. Okay. I'll show you how the four wheel drive works. So you just come to a stop. We'll push this button here. We should get an indication on our dash. And then that's all we gotta do. Oh, this thing's on. I'm not sure what's up. We'll put that to the off position. You can see the engine's warming up. No radio, It'd be nice to put a little radio. You could get a Bluetooth speaker and then just put your radio, you know, your speaker through there. I got you on YouTube. Okay. All right, and then to take it out of four wheel drive, just push that button back and the light goes off, parking brakes on. Let me get out and test the, the engine. You can see how quiet they are. It's one of the nice things. <clears throat> oh, I see a little smoke right there. We might have to... Sometimes the valve cover gasket leak or the distributor cap o-ring. It's really dry though, so maybe that's just dust or something. I don't know. I haven't run this one in a month or two. Get it hot. Let's get it hot and see what happens. We're cooking over here, baby. always making fun of me she's like oh our neighbor is just always like vroom 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 so now when I do it I'm cracking up to myself we'll just let it run for a while and put that good burn off Hadn't burned down yet. Sounds like a vacuum leak. I can hear that vacuum leak. It's 
So to fix that problem, just reverse these lines here. They pull off and then they push back on. Cool. Been on for about 30 minutes. So the phone keeps turning off, but here's the underside. Got a little bit of surface rust, some spots. There's the AC piece that's got a hole in it somewhere here. So I could, here you got the spare and the spare tire. There's the axle. Looks pretty good there. I'll go around the other side. <laughs> All those dirt. Engine looks all good, no leaks from the differential. Drive shaft looks good. Okay. Ugh. So the worst part's in the bed, probably there. There, it's just, I don't know if they put chemicals or that's rust or something. It's just in a couple areas. It's solid though. All right, I'm signing off. Hopefully that helps. Hit that subscribe if you're not already. We got a two-wheel drive Honda Acti walk around coming tomorrow for a customer up in Maine maybe a customer I guess they're not customers until they buy stuff but a potential customer so we're gonna relax take a break listen them some music watch some YouTube and answer some emails hopefully you guys have a good one stay mini stay safe put those masks on have a good one